Vizio just updated the SmartCast on Vizio TVs. Is it supposed to make Vizio TVs better? Let's see. Vizio has updated all their Vizio TVs with their new SmartCast. They've also launched something called Vizio Watch us, which seems to be an initiative of them becoming more of a software company than a TV company. But I was curious about these changes on their smart TV platform to see if it's any better. As some of you have said before, you've been having a lot of issues with Visio TVs when it comes to SmartCast. So let's do a quick tour on this and see if it's any better than it was before. Just a quick tour of the new SmartCast. So here's the homepage where it gives you advertisement and recommendations. Up here, there's a carousel for different things to watch. Down here, we have your trending now programs. And down here, we have your apps and input. So here, you can actually rearrange this row, but you're not free to rearrange it exactly like you want it. I'm going to get into that in a minute. And then on here on the side, you have your recent apps. So if you have any apps that are not right here immediately available, on the row and that you used before. So for example, if you see stars all the way on the side right there. So if you have stars all the way on the side, like I do, and you had used to before, it will be here on your recent apps and that will appear here at the bottom and it will give you a faster way of getting to those apps that not, might not be available on your row up here. So maybe apps that you don't use all the time will be an example. Here to the left, you have all your inputs, pretty self-explanatory. Here we have your HDMI inputs, antenna and composite inputs if you have that. Now let's go to your live TV on demand. These are all watch free plus channels. So here's where you have your Visio watch free channels, which is their way of giving you type of antenna TV based on the comments that some of you have given me on my previous Visio video. Here we have collections and I think self explanatory different TV shows or movies per category. And I think these are all the majority are from the watch free app. So yeah, so if you here, you have the watch now. So these are all from the watch free TV app. So I'm going to go back to the main menu again. Now here I have shows that are recommended to me. I don't know how they are deciding what it is that I watch or not, because on here I mainly use my uh, Amazon Fire TV. Here we're greeted with an ad for Progressive. Now here we have Season Green. So it looks like we have different types of movie collections for the holidays. And it looks like some of them are sponsored. So here there's a couple, as you can see, that are Coca-Cola sponsored. Now let's look on the left hand side. Because now we have a menu here that comes up. And so here you have your home menu. Of course, up there you go search. Here's your live TV. Live TV, again, is going to take you to the uh, Watch Free Plus. That took forever. I press the home button to go back because it, nothing was coming up, as you saw. So it takes a long time to appear. Now it's taking a long time to go into the home menu, which is kind of annoying, right? That takes way too long. That's, that's something I'm assuming has to do with the internet connection, has to do probably with the processor and the TV as well. Let's move on to free movies and TV. And again, it's taking me to the Visual Watch Free Plus app. Here we have a selection, and as you can see in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to go back to the main menu again. And that takes a long time. All right, press the home button. And let's look at browse. What do we have under browse? That seems redundant, doesn't it? And so apps, it's going to take you to their app store, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So here's their app store. We have airplane and then settings, extras and extras. There is some helpful things. Okay. It is kind of useful because it's going to explain to you exactly what this new software does. So if you click on about, it's going to give you information on on the software version that you have terms of service. If you don't know what version you're in of the software, you can see it right here. It's going to show you how to pair your phone if you want to use your phone as a remote. Here's going to show you what's the latest features and offers under Visio. Here you can change your backdrop. Smart home settings if you have a, uh, Alexa, it looks like if you have Google Home and I'm assuming that will be Apple's HomeKit so you can connect it to the TV. Here you have your apps and inputs row, which is that at the bottom. And then here it gives you like different tutorials on how to do certain things. How do you organize this right here, your, your apps and inputs row, which is 
what I wanted to do first thing because once it updated, it disorganized this whole thing for me and I found it very annoying. It took me a while to figure out how to do it. The easiest way that I was able to do it was here to the extras tab. On the extras tab, I went to apps and inputs row, resort app icons. So resorting app icons is the way I was able to do it. So it took me right here to make changes. So the way you do that is, as it tells you here, you press OK on the app that you want to move and then you move it to the side or remove it. So if you want to here, or if you want to do the other side, or if you want to get it out of the row, you, you press down. Then you press OK one more time on the remote, and it's going to, to keep it in place. You see how you have, what, three, six, nine, 12 apps that you have immediately available in front of you. In theory, you really can only change three, six, eight, because the Watch Free Plus button never goes away. So if you press here, as you can see, I can only move left or right if I move it in front of Max. But I cannot continue going to the right because this technically is the last button of your app row. So you cannot get rid of it. And I find that really, really annoying. I've had a lot of comments on people having issues finding their local channels using their antenna. As, as, as you see here, you have your antenna. But let's say that you don't see that option. I have some people say that antenna option doesn't show up for me at all. So what I've seen some people do and what they have explained to me before too in the comment section is that your local channels now reside in your watch free plus app and what a lot of people have said is when you go to the watch free plus app which is vicious again way of providing you local channels it is also going to pull channels from your antenna so it says to press that ok button to open the full guide. So I'm going to open a full guide. And so here we have the channels that are available. Again, I don't really use cable, so I don't really know what some of these channels are. But here's where you will find your uh, local channels. And what some people have said is that it is going to pull your antenna channels into this guide as well. So as you can see, there's some things that are hidden, make it a little harder to use. The thing that I found really annoying is that you won't be able to get rid of your Vizio Watch Free logo. It's always going to be there no matter how you change your apps, which is kind of annoying them forcing you to have something that you might never use there. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see if Vizio decides to improve the hardware on the TVs, seeing how now they're becoming more of a software company, if SmartCast becomes any better than what it is. In my opinion, it still feels a little clunky. It does look a lot better than it used to, but I wouldn't say that there's huge improvements on it. That is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. You Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos and thank you very much for watching.